first time ever. Okay, Maddie's here, in case anybody can't see her. Sorry, guys, I'm right here. Hey, guys. I'm setting up our 85 screens that we have going today. And okay, finally live on YouTube. How's everybody doing? Guys, it is Friday. Friday, Friday. Friday. Yes, it's Friday. And we already did our dance for Barbecue Bones Friday, but I am ready to dance some more today. Okay? Oh, my God, me too. I really am. It's I so really nice am. to see you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us. It's Friday, everybody. Badass Butcher! Hello, happy Friday! Chantel, happy Friday! Carol, Carol, happy Friday. Are you watching from work, Carol? Or Hi, are Carol. you home today, Carol? And I'm S. Will's tuning in, Barbecue Man. Hey, Barbecue Man. Okay, so guys, I just mentioned, this is our first time ever live on TikTok. Yeah, live on TikTok for the first time. This is very exciting. We are so excited to be live on TikTok. And we are making a cast iron cornbread with smoked sausage because a lot of people have been okay, asking Why us, is my coconut water here? It's like right in the, this, there's no coconut water in this recipe, everybody. <laughs> no, you get confused by just seeing that in here. But, um, and this cord is just over our sausage here. But um, a lot of people have been asking us, what do you do with all that leftover meat that you guys are grilling and smoking all the time? And the fact of the matter is, is we can only eat so much. That's I don't eat any true. of it. I yeah. can't eat any of it. I do eat quite a significant portion of it. She does her fair <laughs> share, but a lot of it does end up, are you okay, honey? I'm good. She's good. Okay. A lot of it does end up having to go in the freezer and then we take it out and repurpose it into other things later on. Yes. So that's what we're doing today. So this actually is three sausages. If you remember tuning in from our filing cabinet um, video that we did, that's from that video. Yeah. And these are smelling super smoky right up the top. Like yeah, before we even fantastic. get this back in the barbecue, I can already smell the smoke happening. Okay. I have to say hi. Elle just tuned in. I don't know if this is Elle's first time on one of our lives, but Elle, happy Friday. Mom's tuning in on YouTube. We have Jesse James on YouTube. I can't see TikTok at all. I got to get glasses. Yeah, we. I know me too. I feel like TikTok is on one of our phones. So we have everything set up here and so small, but Hi, TikTok friends. Yes. Hello, TikTok Thank friends. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so let's dive in. Yeah. Okay, so let's I'm right on, in. you're on basically mixing and mingling duty. Yeah. And I'm on chopping up sausages, chopping up green onions, because guys, we love when you have, when you're making a cornbread, we love seeing some green in there. So Definitely. typically what we do, oh, Mikey, hi, Mikey. Hi, Mikey. <laughs> Mikey caught me mid-sentence on that one. <laughs> okay, so typically we like to add jalapenos. But we didn't have any left over because we ate them all this week. So we're throwing in some green onion. You always find some green onions buried in the back of the fridge. I don't know how I know. that happened. We had, some, we had a green pepper too, but I was like, that could work too. But I just that prefer. could Actually, that would actually be very delicious in here. And these are getting kind of kind of um, gnarly on the end. Like, you know, how, yeah, by the end of the week, they start to just get a little bit shriveled up. No one will see it in the no. cornbread. We're throwing it right in there. Daddy Dutch in the house. Hi, Hi Daddy YouTube. Dutch. Daddy Dutch. Okay, guys, I'm going to actually start yeah. talking. Up the green onions, but Daddy Dutch is one of our fellow competitors in the Barbecue Pit Masters of YouTube combination. And right off the top, guys, what did I you say? You said combination. Oh, competition. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right off the top, we have to say thank you to everyone who has persevered through the crazy, wacky voting thing. Yeah, people can't find where to vote. Don't worry about it, guys. I think there might be a glitch with the links that we're sending, so don't worry about it. It's We've had fun in this competition. And that's what it's all about. It's Absolutely. not about it's not about anything else but that. And it, it also has been wonderful to see the support that we've gotten from the barbecue family. And it's been a lot of fun to meet other barbecue people, to talk to them online, yeah. share stories of barbecue. So I've, I've thoroughly been enjoying it. Okay, so Maddie's gonna get started on the chopping. I'm gonna get started on the dry ingredients for our cornbread. And now guys, let me ask you a question. When you are making a cornbread or a baked good of any kind. Can I answer the question? Maybe, Okay, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, do you guys mess around with the two separate bowls for the wet and the dry? Okay? Oh, you already know, know my answer to that. You already know my answer. To that. Honey doesn't do it. I know. I don't. Because I don't do it either. Jay, Jay's tuning in. Jay, do you do it? Do, do you, you do guys it, do it? Okay. So, or do you Jesse, just, do you do it? <laughs> do you, they're probably like, do what? I just came on here. <laughs> well, do you just get one big bowl? And then what we like to do first is start with the dry. Make sure the dry, because it is important to have the dry incorporated. For sure. So especially when you're doing something like, so we're going to go right now. S will say never. 
He See? sang never. He also doesn't do it. Mikey never too. Living Thank on the edge. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> so on the edge. we've got some white flour in here, and we're just gonna go in with um, some baking powder. So that is one that you're gonna want to make sure that you thoroughly mix because if you start going in wet and dry right now, that's where you're gonna get into problems. Yes. So basically, you're just saying stick with when you're doing dry. You dry first. Exactly. Then, then do it. Save yourself okay, so a bowl. In saying that, I'm going to just keep the green onions off to the side I don't want them and keep yet. them ready. You tell me when, honey. You I don't tell want me when. Okay. So then we're going to go in. This wouldn't be. Jason in one bowl for the, for the win. Guys, I'm appreciating that you guys are agreeing, agreeing um, with us on this one because who wants to do extra dishes here? I know I don't. So then the next thing we're going to add is cornmeal. You couldn't have a cornbread without a lot of cornmeal. Okay. Someone else weighing in? Steve. The Greek Sheik is tuning over on YouTube, and he's saying he does use separate bowls. Uh -oh. So you know what? I feel I feel like it is. It does come down to a matter of preference. And you know what? A lot of people. There are some people out there that are very much into the precision of baking. Yes, and then and in that case, you do have to. These are also the people that will use a scale. I'm not. Yes. One of those people. Oh my goodness, we never. That's dead. Dad breaks out the scale. You're getting a scale and getting in grams, and you got a zero at the bowl. You've lost me. Yeah, okay? me too. That's not what I'm doing. Okay, barbecue test pit is saying depends on the recipe, but never for cornbread. Oh, oh, see it, see it. And that's what. Okay, because you guys barbecue know. test pit, fantastic point. Because like most things in the barbecue world, it's not so. It's not so crazy. You can have. You can just like be easy. It. And a cornbread corn is in the barbecue world. Exactly. And a cornbread is one of those things that it's like, it's not, it's not, it's not a science. bread. It's not science. You don't got to knead it. It's yes. very, very simple. So for the salt in this recipe, we are going to use our house blend seasoning. So I wanted to mention this because Maddie and I are working on coming up with some new seasonings. We're getting low on our stock. So if anybody wants to order some, please don't right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so guys, you also know every Friday we love going live. This has been such a cool experience every single Friday going live. So what we like to do on, when we're hanging with you guys, welcoming you into the kitchen, we love to talk about what we are grateful for this week or just in life in general. We like yes. to hear what you're grateful for as well. Chantel is saying, can't co cornbread go with barbecue chicken? Ooh. It can Chantel. Very good combination. <laughs> There's not a lot of things cornbread can't go with. I even serve it with anything. You yes. know? It's so good. It's on the side of any, it goes great on the side of anything. It totally does. And it's one of those sweet and salty combinations that it can. It goes good with a soup, with a chili. Like Chantel said, with a barbecue chicken and ribs. Like, totally Chantel. Yes. Okay, so Kathy is saying hi to us. And she's also saying hi to Barbecue Mama. Okay, she hi, knows Kathy. Barbecue Mama. <laughs> that is amazing. Barbecue Mama is in the house, everybody. Okay, so guys, we are talking about what we're grateful for. So honey, hit us with something that you are grateful for okay. this week. Okay, and guys, we want to hear something that you're grateful for. Whether it's your family, whether it's your pets, whether it's maybe you, you just got a new car or something like that. We want to hear what you are grateful for. Okay, so before I, I share mine with you guys, um, we're going to add in our secret last dry ingredient oh, that is a good um, one. addition. And this is cheddar cheese powder. So how many people have heard of this? This is a little, I'll show you the container. We have it up to the side just to show you guys. We like using this. It's basically like, you can buy this online. It's basically like craft Dinner seasoning that you can buy online. And we like adding it to different things just for a cheesy kick. So that's going to go in. And it also gives it a nice bright orange flavor. Oh or my color, goodness. sorry. Daddy Dutch, Kent just said he is in the competition. He is 51, per, he's down 51% to 49%. It doesn't get tighter than that. Daddy Everybody Dutch. Everybody head on over there and vote. <laughs> oh my goodness, Daddy Dutch, you can take that home. I know you can. He's that close. He's that close. Okay, so Mikey's saying I'm grateful that you that you old girls make me make them laugh. Okay, Mikey, you are super sweet. We're glad we can we can make some laughs happen. You know, that's Friday, guys. If you're not laughing on a Friday, you're doing something wrong. Barbecue man said that sounds good. The cheddar cheese powder is very very cool. It is great on popcorn. Great on if you want to make like a homemade sort of craft dinner kind of thing. We we really really like it. The crazy pop is tuning in on YouTube. Hi, crazy pop. How how is your day going? We hope you're having a great Friday. Honey, can okay. I throw this in here? Yeah, I got wait a second. Onions just hanging out. I'm just cutting. Wait water. a second. Okay. I'm gonna get going on the sausage man. I'm, I'm going as much as she can take here. Okay, that's it for the dry ingredients. Yes, honey, go ahead and then once okay. you're done, I will continue. So, all right. So the first thing I wanted to, sh to share for this week for my thankful, my you're grateful, grateful. You're grateful, my grateful, my thankful. It's the same thing. Okay, is now, this is kind of a weird one. It's kind of a negative turned into a, a grateful. Oh. 
So I don't like eating breakfast the minute I wake up. Okay. At all, guys. I'm one of these people. Some I need a coffee. Don't. Some people don't. I got to wake up a little bit. But since I have to take medication first thing in the morning, uh, and I can't take them on an empty stomach, I've been forced to eat breakfast. Okay. So this week. I love, I'm loving this backstory. Okay. So this week, I'm having, I've been forced to eat, have breakfast. So I made a lot of overnight oats this week. And it's made me realize, like, I'm quite liking it. Overnight oats? Yeah, and all, the whole thing. <laughs> oh, breakfast. I'm sitting there with my little pot She's of oats. grateful for overnight oats. <laughs> no, I'm grateful for, like, what's something that I didn't want to do at first, and now I'm kind of really enjoying it. So you're an early morning breakfast fan. Yeah, like, it's turned me into being, like, this is this is quite interesting. You got the vanilla in there. Sometimes I put in some, like, powdered peanut butter. Ooh. Like, guys, are you feeling me on this one? I could go, I could go eating morning, noon, or night. Yeah, so if I'm in the middle of the night, you throw some McDonald's my way, I'm happy. I'm taking so that's it down. Different. I'm that's... taking it down any any time of day. <laughs> Who couldn't eat McDonald's any time of day, though? But do you guys know what I mean? Like, do you guys like to eat breakfast in the morning? Or do you have to wait and, like, wake up a little bit? That's that's really interesting that now that you've turned into that. I know. That's what I mean. It's that's one of those cool. things. But now I am grateful. The minute I wake up, I look forward to that little pot of oatmeal. Okay. Can, can I try this? It's Why so are you good. holding out on me? You got a little bit of chocolate. Okay, there. Chantel saying spring break is coming up. That is definitely something to be grateful for, Chantel. I remember we used to live for those moments. Oh, we yes. We really used to live for those moments. Oh, definitely. Chantel, what are your plans for spring break? And this year, I'm sure it's going to look a lot different than it normally is. But still, what are you going to do? And Carol is saying she's got to have two coffees for a seat here. That's how I was. Try the overnight oatmeal. You might turn around. You might end up being I feel like everyone it. might be making that tomorrow morning. I want to try it. I definitely want to try it. I could share my recipe to our story if anybody's interested. Because I think I got it down to a fine art, everybody. I do want to. I do want to. Okay, honey. Grateful. Okay. Give okay, me one. Okay, so I, I have one that I would like to hear what other people want to say on it. Okay. Because I have one. Nice sausage t um, size. Okay, thank you. And guys, these pieces are pieces that we just had cut up, actually. So we're, I'm just taking them down to, I'll show you what size we're taking them down to. About that size. Hopefully everybody can see that. But again, this is not science. We're not, we're not, we're not really getting crazy on like on the proportions here. We're just having fun. It's Friday. We want to make something delicious. The barbecue man just said he can eat straight from the bed. I appreciate barbecue that. Barbecue man. man. Oh my goodness. He okay. gets up to go to the washroom. He's like, I don't make my wife with chips and dip. Who we knows? just learned something new about barbecue man. There might be a few crumbs in his bed. <laughs> you know what? There are some in mine too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It happens. If you get hungry, you go back upstairs. <laughs> We're learning new things about the barbecue family every single day. <laughs> okay. So okay. So yeah. So I have one, one one thing that I have that I'm grateful for this week, and just again a new thing that I'm grateful for. So this is weird because you just found out something that you're yeah. newly grateful for. Okay. Okay. So I'm actually wearing mine right now that I'm newly grateful for. Can I see it or is it underneath? No. Oh. No, nothing is underneath, buddy. <laughs> Nothing's underneath. What? No, no. <laughs> Guys, cut the camera. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Why is there blushing every Friday night? So are you. You're the one who said it. <laughs> Talking about Maddie's knickers, guys. <laughs> Watch out. Okay, well, no, that's not what we're talking about. I'm saying I'm wearing it and I'm grateful for this apron. Yes. Okay, so I used to hate wearing an apron. I don't know why. It's just like it's an extra step before I know. you actually start cooking. Sometimes you can't be bothered. However, I'm grateful for them now, and I'm actually a newfound apron fan, and I want to know if you guys like aprons or not, too, because I have been ruining many shirts, okay? Oh, I know. I get it all the guys, time. Guys, when you're standing at the grill, especially sausages, you know how sausages sometimes squirt out? You open you... the lid, and it's like, Yes. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. I got one of my good sweatshirts with, like, a... With a like basically a stream of, of butter coming out. I, I remember that. The butter too. Yeah, see, and it happened to the butter. So <laughs> I was like, you know what? There's a reason why people say wear aprons. Yeah. So now I'm grateful for them. We got these ones. We are so into these ones. I love. I love. I, these I'm ones. really obsessed. These, with ones, these ones I feel like are not going to stain either. No. Barbecue tongue twister. Okay, barbecue tongue twister. Happy Friday. Thank you for being here. Anybody who is watching right now, if you have not checked out barbecue tongue twisters page, you should see. The grill that he developed okay it's in a whiskey barrel yes i remember you were telling me about this. it is insane as girls who make their own barbecue and he has a daughter i remember you were saying that was near it and she's liking it yes and so i i just found it it's a spectacle it that really is very is. very so cool. cool so guys go check that out and if you're getting young girls into barbecue you are okay in my books you're okay? all about that 
we are definitely all about that. Okay, so Maddie's gonna continue cubing up. That's a lot more sausage than I was. This is like equal parts sausage to cornbread, which I'm not mad at. I, Even sorry. though I don't get to eat this, but still, it's gonna be fantastic. It, it only is three sausages, but it looks like a lot more for some reason. Okay, so because we're gonna add the, the wet right into the dry, I'm gonna just go ahead and plop our egg into the milk and just whisk it in, just so it's like a little bit more evenly incorporated here. Okay, so we've got an egg, we've got some milk. In the meantime, guys, share your gratefuls with us because I would like to hear them. The people on TikTok are probably like, who are these two and what is happening? Why are we talking about someone's knickers and we're making food? <laughs> but the TikTok crowd, uh -huh. the TikTok crowd's like, who are these guys, people? keep watching because you'll get to know us and it's not this scary every week. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of knickers talk usually, but no. you know what? We have someone awesome tuning in over on YouTube. This is full of awesome people today. But Tommy from the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, Tommy's tuning in. He's just tuning in for a hot second, he said, because he just wanted to say we did a great job in Barbecue Pit Masters of YouTube. Tommy, you are super sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank I, you I, for saying you. that. Okay. Okay. It's Thank okay. you so much, got Tommy. I got my apron on. I got That's my apron on. Good point. Now, I would like to point out before Tommy leaves, guys, if you haven't been over to his channel, go check it out for the barbecue, but for also that guy's eyes. And his voice. That guy has got a voice on him. He's got a voice on him. <laughs> He's got incredible. <laughs> Incredible eyes, an incredible voice, very, very good content. Yeah, a phenomenal member of the barbecue family, so definitely go check that out after. Yes. Okay, so I've added in the milk and the egg. We're Can gonna... I keep going with the with the sauce? Yeah. I just want to get them all in there. It doesn't matter, yeah. Okay, the, Steve is also saying I'm great. Sir, the Greek sheik is saying I'm grateful. My, oh. my old dog is still kicking around. Oh, that is something to be grateful for every day. Agreed. Same with me, little Ricky. Guys, oh. if anybody knows my, my cat, little Ricky, He's going to be 10 this year, and I hope he lasts for 10 more years. Guys, you know little Ricky. He's the not-so-little cat that's always in the story. <laughs> He's huge. I know, and we named him little Ricky, obviously, when he was a baby. We had no idea he was going to turn out to be massive. <laughs> He's a blip. <laughs> okay. So oh, little Ricky. I love him. Oh. He's my nephew. I hope he, yeah, he is. Okay, so the last secret ingredient that is going to go into this cornbread. Pause comes... it, pause it, pause it. Karate video and more. He's tuning in on YouTube. Karate videos. He is literally like our cheerleader right now. He, he is, is adorable. He's tuning in live to Smoke and Joe to Smoke and Joe's live. He was literally just like singing our praises, being super sweet. Karate videos. Thank you so much for for being just so sweet to us. Yes, we can't thank you enough. We always love the support, and thank you, thank you very much for for being so supportive of us. Off pause. Off pause. All right, I'm off. Um. <laughs> Elliot, sorry, before we go on, Elliot says, good luck to you and the cook. You've got my vote. Thank you so much, Elliot. Elliot. thank you. It's, it's great to know the people who, who have voted for us because, guys, we are getting crushed. Yeah, we're we getting really crushed. Are. So the few people who have voted, we really appreciate you guys. I think the voting has confused a lot of people. I think we could have got, done a lot better if the voting could have been... Um, more user friendly, but what can you do? There's a well, well we're not I, gonna be sore losers. We okay? can, exactly. We keep just saying we'll get them next time. We'll exactly. Get them next time. All right. So I'm off pause. You're so, off pause. I need to wash my hands. Okay. Okay. Um. So the last thing that we're gonna add, as far as the wet ingredients go, is a little bit of this smoked sauce. So for those of you who know, I know a lot of you already know Flippin sauce. This, this sauce is called um, Sweet Heat Smoked Sauce by Flippins. It is flippin' awesome, okay? So <laughs> it really is. Instead of in a cornbread, a lot of people would add sugar or maple syrup or honey. I personally don't like to add white sugar to a lot of things. I think you can do a lot better as far as flavor. I do. I'm a white sugar fan. I say anything, any form of sweetener. I'm not, okay, okay, wow. And can you no, see me? No, I can see you. I can see you. <laughs> I, it, it adds no flavor. Yeah, I know, but it adds a nice sweetness. Guys, add what you got. That's what we're all about. We got flippins. We're adding flippins. And I can just write off the top. That smells fantastic. And this one, this one is a smoked sauce too. So mm. it's gonna add, it has honey in it. And it's gonna add sweetness as well, along with a little bit of a ketchup y flavor. It's got some tomato in there. Karate videos is saying you girls need to be winners. Karate videos, you're super sweet. Chantel is saying she has a she also has a cat. Hands up for the cat fans. Yes, Kiki, you have two cats. Yep. I have two cats. Carol is saying little Ricky. She likes little Ricky. I love that Carol loves little Ricky too. I know Carol has an adorable cat. Yes, she really does. Okay, so we're gonna mix this all up. You, I already can tell that's gonna be phenomenal. You can tell, you can really get in there. Show, show the texture. So here. can you guys see this? Let me just lift this up here. Can you lift that? Yeah. Okay. So look at how good that is gonna be. You don't want to over mix, 
but we want to make sure everything's incorporated. That smoked sauce is coming off right off the top. That looks fantastic. And our friend and barbecue brother, Spoggett, is tuning in. He has a very interesting, cool, great bowl, okay? Oh, I want to know what it is. that he is grateful that he finally broke down and bought himself a better camera for his YouTube videos. Oh, that's a that good one. That is awesome. And he was using one that was held together by glue. I'm impressed with that, though, Spoggett, because he pumps out regular videos great videos and it's you weird know what you use what you got but it's so weird because if you look at his videos you'd never tell you that's never what he's would. doing you never would so that is that is definitely something to be, to be grateful for and like maddie and i always say sometimes buying things feels so much better when you've waited for so long oh Instead my of just goodness going out and getting something the minute you want it okay sk barbecue is excited to be here he's giving us a woo <laughs> i love it <laughs> okay so we've got this all mixed up here let me just make sure that the flour is all incorporated from the bottom. Okay, and I can't really see our, our TikTok friends here. Harry Sue, okay, I can't see who that is, but someone's saying Harry Sue uses his phone, okay? And Harry Sue, you're right, he does. And he also is an example of someone who pumps out quality videos see? on a regular basis. It's not about the gear, everybody. No, you when, never when, guess. No, when you're doing, sorry, honey. sorry when you're doing, when you're doing regular posting, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Instagram, it's not so much about the gear. It's about. Sorry, can you help me, please? I'm <laughs> I struggling. Was you didn't even say that. I'm Maddie's like, it's not about the gear. I'm like, I'm trying to lift things over here. <laughs> you're just like running around behind me. Okay, so. Okay, but it isn't about the gear. So no. very impressive. Love that people know that Harry uses his phone and it's it it. that is a very good grateful i love when you hear that people are grateful for just because you have the money to buy something doesn't mean you necessarily have to yeah like sometimes it's nice depriving to... yourself of something for a little while feels good and when you get it it feels extra special it's nice to make do with what you have yeah am i given am i given the pork yeah here? so this is a grease this is already a buttered cast iron skillet if you're okay i gotta i'm sorry i'm getting blocked out here <laughs> if you're cast iron <laughs> <laughs> if your cast iron oh, is seasoned oh my goodness the smell of this it's a cheesy it's a cheesy powder too. no it's the i just i'm getting the flippants yeah. right off the top here so if your um cast iron skillet Sorry. is properly seasoned you don't necessarily need to butter it because it's not going to stick point. because it's seasoned properly we're buttering this more for the flavor than we are for the non-sticking and because when you do butter the, the yeah when you when oh my okay wow this to me wow. okay if you do butter it you're right it gives it more flavor and i also feel like it adds to a little bit more of the browning yes good point, a little a, a touch because the actual cast iron does that itself too yeah phenomenal so we're gonna smear Looks this phenomenal. around here now um honey do you want to hit me with another grateful Okay, that looks great. Just smearing it. I want to, you want to make sure it's pretty even. And then what we like to do, give it one of these. Okay, just come on. Looking, looking fantastic. Okay. Give it one of these. Make sure it's tamped down. SK Barbecue is saying tools don't make the chef. A hundred percent. That needs a round of applause, okay? I'm giving it a raise very, in the roof. Okay. <laughs> Taking it back to the 90s, y'all. <laughs> okay, but that's very, very true. It doesn't make the chef. It's, it's about what you bring to it. Sometimes... You know what? We used to have crappy knives for years. Yes. And we used to, we still made do. Yep. And a knife roll. Speaking of yes. that too, remember my old knife roll? Yes. The only, the only reason why I got a new knife roll is because I was on the show Firemasters and my, and our dad got us new knife rolls that are incredible. We need to show those. Those we are do. so good. I but, would go get my, it's upstairs, but I would, I would like to show you. But myself. for a number of years, we had um, very awful knife rolls. Yes. So that's one of those things too. Like it doesn't, that doesn't um, influence your skill. It doesn't say how good you are. None of that. Okay, I need to say, we need to say hello to Everett Barbecue. Hello, he's saying hi to Kent. And Barbecue Pit Dog, how are you? Happy Friday. It's so nice to see you. Okay, so we're going to top it off with little cubes of butter. Again. Looks fantastic. Okay, so while you're doing that, honey, you can't go wrong with adding more butter, guys. Yeah. But I would like to share a final grateful. Okay. Or do you have another one too, honey? Um, I have another one, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's not much of a backstory either. It's just one. Okay, this is, yeah, this one's not okay. one, but... I am very grateful for our career. Okay. So I'm Good very, one. very grateful every time for some reason we, at the end of the day, I always think about being grateful for that, but the end of the week in particular, because I remember when we used to be back at our office jobs, the end of the week used to feel like exciting, but also it was just like the buildup of the crappy week. Oh. And so it just felt it was, a, it was not a fun time. So every Friday, 
I can't wait for barbecue boat loose Friday. I, I can't wait for our lives hanging out with the barbecue family. And it's just a completely different feeling. So I just am very, very grateful for that. And it's weird because Friday still has a good fun Friday vibe because you're cruising into the weekend yeah. and stuff, but it doesn't have a vibe like you're like, oh, I got through another week because we felt like that for a number of years in our old jobs. Yes. And if anybody does feel like that today or they have felt like that with their jobs, we just want to tell you guys, you can change it. I know it sounds like, how are you going to change it? Because people used to say that all the time to us, <sighs> but you just got to make that first step. Life is way too short. Yeah. And take it from us, guys. We did a job that we hated for so many years and it does affect your the rest of your life. Yeah. Like, so I'm just very, very grateful for that. Honey, hit us with your last grateful. And then guys, we are going out to preheat that grill and get this on. We're cooking it over indirect heat. Okay. So my last grateful is a man in uniform. Uh, oh, what that's what I'm grateful, for? guys, yes. because I was driving around that's today. An one. <laughs> I thought that this morning when I was coming in, there was a police officer at a traffic stop. You're not supposed to look. You're supposed to just keep going. And I glanced over and I was like, that is a mighty fine uniform, everybody. <laughs> and also, thank you for your service. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm both levels. Grateful for multiple things there. So, yeah, that's just what I wanted to share with everybody. I, I like a construction worker. Not that that's a uniform, but I too. like a construction worker look. A I man mean. in uniform, period. The Greek sheik's like, come on, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> okay so guys thank you guys for tuning in this has been an absolute blast what time is it here it's 4 24 we've almost gone a whole half hour and it just flew by here yes, okay yeah so thank you guys for tuning in stay tuned because we are going to be showing you guys what this looks like when it comes off of the grill oh i cannot wait it's already smelling so incredible it is okay have a fantastic weekend everybody yes yeah, stay safe guys enjoy yourselves we will see you next week